Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Monica and in today's video I'm going to be decorating my back porch for the 4th of July. We will be having company over so I'm so excited about this. I will also be sharing with you a cute DIY for a flag. I will also be sharing with you two desserts and a side dish. I did ask over on Instagram if you would be willing to share some of those ideas with me and I picked three of them and I will be sharing them today. So I hope this video gives you some ideas and let's just get right into it. Okay, so the first recipe that I'm going to share with you is the side dish and it is a corn avocado and tomato salad. It is fresh and light and it is so perfect for summer and barbecues, potlucks, whatever. This was so incredibly delicious. I absolutely loved it. So thank you to the person that had sent this recipe to me. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is just wash the corn and then instead of grilling it, I decided to put it right on my stove top and you got to be careful with this because it did start popping after a while so I had to continuously turn it. So until I got it to the char that I wanted, I just kind of watched it really, really well. And then once it was at the cooked perfection that I wanted it to be at, I turned the stove off and then I just put it on a plate to cool. So now that the corn is cooled off, I'm going to go ahead and make my salad. And this is everything that I will be using in the salad today. I will go ahead and leave the link to this recipe down in my description box in case you want to go click on that link and then make a copy of the recipe for yourself. This was absolutely delicious. It would even taste really good if you added a little bit of ranch dressing to it, but it tasted perfect just the way it was. Okay, so I want to share a little trick with you that I learned a few years ago, and if you are sick and tired of your refrigerator smelling like onion, once you place a leftover onion in your refrigerator, use a piece of foil, wrap it tightly around the onion, and then place it in a sealed plastic baggie, and your refrigerator will not stink. So once I have the tomatoes, onions, avocado, and corn, and chopped up cilantro all placed in this bowl, I am just going to be adding some salt, pepper, olive oil, and the lime juice, and then I will mix it all together and you are finished. I let this chill for about an hour, but this is so incredibly good. I could have sat and ate the entire bowl. Just what I do when I'm out. 
Okay, so for this dessert recipe, this is called the red, white, and blue trifle. And at the time when I made this, I just basically knew what ingredients to add. And I didn't really follow a recipe, but I have made this before. So I kind of knew what I was doing. And this is so incredibly easy to do. You're basically just adding all the ingredients in a layer in a trifle bowl. So I'm going to start with some white chocolate pudding mix and I am using almond milk for this so it did not set up as well as it should. And then I'm going to add some Cool Whip to that and then fold that in really well. And then I'm basically just going to add all of the ingredients. So I used angel food cake strawberries blueberries and bananas and then i'm just going to layer it in the trifle bowl and i will leave this link i did go ahead and find a link to this online so i will leave the link to this recipe down in my description box as well I'm gonna skip my breaks i'm gonna make mistakes try not to hold me down feel it If you are new to my channel and you are visiting my channel for the very first time today, I would love to say thank you so much for stopping by and welcome. I truly hope that you consider subscribing to my channel. I would absolutely love to have you here and I would love it if you just said hi down in the comments below, introduce yourself and maybe let me know what your favorite dishes that you prepare for the 4th of July or what your family traditions are. I would love to know what all of your traditions are. We usually go somewhere. This is the first time that we will be staying home and having uh, my sister is coming out and I am so excited to see her. So I will be seeing my niece and nephew and we will be having a great time just kind of hanging out by the pool and maybe doing some fireworks in the front yard. Okay, so now that I've gotten all of the angel food cake all chopped up in tiny little bite-sized pieces, I'm just going to add them back into this container that it came in, and then I'm going to start chopping up everything else. So I will cut up all of the strawberries and the bananas, and I'm obviously going to leave the blueberries alone, but I did wash everything. And then once I have everything ready to assemble into my trifle bowl, I'm just going to start layering everything. I wanna take you there This dessert was so incredibly good and it wasn't overly sweet. I really don't like dishes that are too sweet, but this was perfect and this can be made in so many different variations. You can use chocolate cake if you wanted, or you can use different types of fruit. You can use chocolate pudding. You can even make like a s'mores trifle. That is really good as well. You can do pretty much whatever you want when it comes to this dish. So this was so incredibly good. Okay, so for this last recipe, this is another dessert and it is called the Strawberry Kiwi Fruit Pizza Watermelon. This was so incredibly good. And a friend of mine sent me this recipe. Her name is Nikki and thank you so much. I loved this. It was so incredibly good. The kids loved it as well. And this is super, super easy to make. And the only thing that you have to cook is the cookie crust for the bottom. And the recipe did call for a mix but I couldn't find it when I was at the store, so I just got the already made dough and then I just let it 
come to room temperature and then I kind of rolled it out and then shaped it myself. So I am adding it to some wax paper to sit in the bottom of a cake pan because I did not want it to stick. So once I was finished with that, I just placed it in a cake pan and then put it in the oven. And like I said before, I will leave links to all of these recipes down in my description box so you can print them out if you would like to use them. Also, this recipe did call for chocolate chips when I was at the store. I completely forgot to get them. So I did have a chocolate bar with all of my baking items and all I did was just kind of cut it up. This is going to be the top that's supposed to look like the watermelon seeds. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. So while I have the cookie crust baking in the oven, I'm just going to get all of my ingredients ready to go. So this recipe does call to remove most of the white parts of the strawberry. So instead of using a knife to cut them out, I just used a plastic straw and just kind of poked holes through all of them. And this was so incredibly fast and easy to do. And then once I had all of the strawberries finished, I cut them up in really small pieces and then I placed them in a bowl and then I halved the kiwi and then kind of cut them up in wedges and the kiwi will go around the edges and this is supposed to look like the end of the watermelon rind. So for the first layer of this pizza, I will be using softened cream cheese, jet puffed marshmallow cream, and then I will be using some Cool Whip. This is a non-dairy Cool Whip and it is made from coconut oil, I believe. So I'm just going to get all of the ingredients mixed in this bowl. The recipe did call for the entire jar of that marshmallow cream. I do not like marshmallow cream, so I only added a little bit. I think it is way too sweet. and with the amount that I added, it was perfect. It wasn't overly sweet because the cookie will be sweet. If you like sweets, then by all means add the whole thing. But I only added a little and it worked out perfect and it was so incredibly good. So once the cookie has cooled, obviously it did crumble a little bit. I could have kept it in the oven just a little bit longer, but I did want the crust to be a little soft. So I just added the layer of cream cheese, then I added the strawberries, and then the last thing that I added was the kiwi around the edges. And of course, once you're done adding all of the fruit to the top, you're going to sprinkle a few of the chocolate chips on top for the watermelon seeds. This was super, super good. I loved it, everybody loved it. It was definitely a hit and I will be making this again for sure. So now that I have my side dish and my two desserts all prepared, I'm going to head on outside and I'm going to be doing some cleaning up out here. I will also be adding some touches of 4th of July decor. So once I get everything cleaned up, I am going to be switching out some pillows, adding some pillows. I will be also adding a new centerpiece right here in front of this sofa. And let's just go ahead and get right into the cleaning and I cannot wait to share this DIY with you as well. So I 
recently did a shop with me video and I did purchase these striped pillows and I was not sure if I was going to use them outside or not but last minute I did decide that I wanted to add them out here and I love the way they look. I purchased these at Marshalls and then the white pillow and that blue pillow with the fringe I purchased those on Amazon and then that middle pillow that you saw let freedom ring that is a pillow cover I purchased at Hobby Lobby and then the flag pillow that you saw me put on that chair just opposite of the couch I actually made that I also wanted to let you know that I did purchase a few items at Marshall's this day that I did this makeover back here and this little container was so adorable I am going to fill this with ice and some red and blue sodas I also purchased this little tiered stand at Marshall's as well and then these little containers that I'm putting these sparklers in I purchased those at Ross so I'm just kind of making this like a little station for sparklers and some of the smaller little fireworks and there aren't going to be really small children here so these are completely okay definitely be um, aware of children when you have small items like this out so I'm just placing all of the little mini fireworks here in these containers and then I will be adding some pool like goggles and toys at the very bottom you know that you know that you're the traveling kind it's a known fact yeah I know that So I really wanted to make this festive and use red, white, and blue colors. So I figured since the tub was white, I just wanted to add some blue and red sodas. And I picked these up at my local Albertsons. And these are like, um, they come in some really odd flavors actually, this brand, Jones Soda. And I just picked the blue and the red and I thought they looked super cute. And then I just added a little flag in here. We find a way back to each other when you're on the other side of the world. I'm here and I'm waiting, but I know I can't say that we didn't end it for good reasons. Still, I'm hoping we'll be meeting soon. So now that I have the back patio all decorated and cleaned up, I'm going to head on back inside and just show you how I have everything set up. I also want to show you a few more items that I did purchase at Marshall's. I did show you this cake plate at Marshall's in my shop with me the other day as well as these little jars and I did see them when I went back in so I grabbed those. The cake plate was $19.99 and then both of these patriotic jars were $7.99 I believe. So I picked up those two jars to add the forks and the spoons and then I'm just going to add a clothespin and label them. And if you don't have the time to make a dessert or anything like that, these cookies are always so good and I don't know anybody that does not like loft cookies. So I just went ahead and added these to this cake plate and then I covered them and this is super easy to do and these are always a hit, always. So here is everything all set out and I loved all of the recipes that you guys shared with me. I am actually thinking about sharing more of those recipes in some of my other videos. If that is something that you want to see, just let me know down in the comments below. And right now I'm just going to show you what everything looks like as the sun went down. I love this backyard. It is so incredibly relaxing to be out here at the end of the day and just relax. But don't click out just yet because I do have one more DIY to share with you and trust me, you will love it and it is super, super easy to make.
Okay, so I'm going to quickly show you how to make this flag, and I am going to be using this fabric here with the stars, and then I am also going to be using just ripped up pieces of fabric, and I chose this one because I really liked the floral print on there, and plus it had the little red flowers, and then I'm just going to be using some lace, and then I also have a little bit of the white fabric as well and I'm going to be using these strips for the stripes so I am just going to attach all of the ribbon and the fabric to this stick here that I've got from outside and then I'm going to hot glue the stars right up here in the corner greater than you knew when you go through the storm At the point of no return You pick up the pieces And you let the bridges burn So come to the water You're sailing with the breeze Take And here it is all finished. I absolutely love this. You can use any type of fabric you would like. You can even use just a plain red for the stripes, but I really wanted to add that floral print in there. So I hope that you enjoyed this video today. I hope it gave you some decorating ideas as well as some recipe ideas. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video and I will see you all in the next one. Have a very happy and safe 4th of July. Thank you, bye. When you